So just like we do with Marvel heroes, we're now gonna take a look at all the DC heroes and see who is the strongest. Now keep in mind, this is purely physical strength. Who can lift the most, who can hit the hardest, all that. This is not the most powerful. Now for this list, everything is going to be taken into consideration, but, but, lifting and striking feats are going to be held in higher regard than just simple fights. That's because so many different things can be taken into account for fights, while lifting feats are a show of pure physical strength. With that being said, let's get started. This is the top 10 strongest DC heroes. So first on our list in the number 10 spot is the King of the Seven Seas, Aquaman. Arthur Curry is exceptionally strong and is even stronger when he's near large bodies of water. In the first issue of Aquaman 52, Arthur shows off his strength by lifting and tipping an ocean liner, which can weigh anywhere between 50,000 to 100,000 tons. He's also lifted an entire city block full of buildings, cars, people, all that before. And this is one of his greatest feats. You see a city block weighs 460,000 tons. He's also sent Superman and Wonder Woman flying with just one punch. And he's also pushed part of a tectonic plate before. Unfortunately, I just couldn't use this feat in the analysis because we have no way of knowing how big or how heavy the portion of the tectonic plate was. But it does show that he's potential to lift so much more than just an ocean liner or a sea block, which is why he makes it into our number 10 spot. Number 9 is Big Barda. So many of y'all might not know who Big Barda is, so I'll just give you a brief history. Big Barda was bred on the hellish world of Apocalypse and became one of the world's greatest warriors. She even served as the leader of Darkseid's personal guard, the Female Furies. Eventually, though, Big Barda fell in love and fled Apocalypse with her future husband, Mr. Miracle. Barda has since made Earth her new home and has served to protect it as a member of the Justice League. Now, Barda is one of the strongest women in the DC Universe and can easily, easily lift over 100 tons, which puts her just a little below the level of Wonder Woman and Superman. In fact, She's held her own in a fight against Superman and was able to hit him with several incredibly strong blows. She has said that she has lifted a continent before, which could weigh over a hundred billion tons, but this has never been seen. But who knows? If she can knock Superman across the room, then she might very well be able to lift a continent. Number 8 is Orion. Now Orion is the second son of Darkseid but was traded to the High Father as part of a peace treaty. He is known as the Dog of War and is the fierce defender of New Genesis. Unfortunately, Orion doesn't go around lifting many incredibly heavy objects, so it's difficult to gauge his strength simply based on lifting feats. He has been in a lot of battles though, hence the nickname Dog of War, and he's shown himself to be around the same strength class as Superman and Wonder Woman by more than holding his own in battle with them, and he even beat his father, Darkseid. Number 7 is Icon. Now, Icon is an alien who crashed landed on Earth as a child and gained exceptional powers as a result of our sun and atmosphere. He possesses all the powers and abilities of a Kryptonian, but with none of the weaknesses. He's been able to punch Superman out of the watchtower 50 feet into space. Later, Superman admitted that nobody, not even Darkseid, had hit him that hard. It's an impressive feat to be sure, but it's a fighting feat, so unfortunately I can't take it as seriously as lifting feats. That's why he only makes it into our number 7 spot. Number 6 is Supergirl. Kara zor is Superman's cousin and the last survivor of Krypton's Argo City. She is now living on Earth and has vowed to defend the planet alongside her cousin. Being a Kryptonian, she is insanely powerful and has all the same powers and abilities as Superman, although to a lesser extent. This is because Clark has spent more time absorbing our yellow sun's rays than Kara has. She has destroyed a moon before, which will require somewhere between 13 to 27 quadrillion megatons. 
Number five is Captain Atom. Captain Atom is a hero fueled by the quantum field and has unlimited potential, possibly making them, him the most powerful character on this list. However, while he is insanely powerful, he doesn't have many purely strength feats. He's fought against Superman, Wonder Woman, and Major Force, showing that he is one of the strongest heroes in the DC Universe. But he just doesn't have any quantifiable feats that can put him any higher on this list. He can augment his strength to godlike levels using Quantum Field though, which is why he made it to our number 5 spot. But we're only halfway through. Number 4 is the Martian Manhunter. John Jones is one of the strongest heroes on the planet, to the point where he can take on the entire Justice League by himself, and even Superman is scared to face him in direct combat. His greatest strength, though, is when he, Superman, and Wonder Woman all help to pull the Earth. Now, considering that each of these three were sharing the weight evenly, and that one didn't have more than the others, this would mean that John was pulling two sextillion tons. That's insanely impressive. Coming in at our number three spot is the Princess of the Amazons herself, Wonder Woman. As we all know, Wonder Woman is insanely powerful. But let's just start off with talking about the feat that we just showed, where her, Martian Manhunter, and Superman pulled the Earth. Like we saw with John, Diana is pulling two sextillion tons, but that's not even her most impressive feat. There was a time where Hal Jordan became the Spectre, and he was knocked out in battle. Wonder Woman and Superman swooped in to catch him and lower him to the ground. Now you might be thinking that this isn't that impressive, but here's the thing, the Spectre is composed of Eternity, and Eternity is heavy, infinitely heavy. Number 2 is Shazam. When Billy Batson says the word Shazam, he receives the powers of 6 different gods, including the combined strength of Hercules, Atlas, and Zeus. This means he has virtually limitless strength as no real cap to his power has ever been seen. In fact, there was a time where Shazam and Superman used their combined might to lift the book that contained every single book possible, meaning that it was a book with infinite pages. So why not I put Shazam over Wonder Woman? What's the difference between Shazam lifting in infinity and Wonder Woman with eternity? Well the thing is, Wonder Woman simply slowed down eternity as it plummeted to the earth, while Shazam used his strength to lift Infinity up off the ground. And that is a big difference. So our number one spot, the strongest hero in the DC Universe is Superman. Was this really even a question? <laughs> Alongside Wonder Woman and Martian Manhunter, he pulled one third of the Earth. But he has also pulled the entire Earth by himself, bearing all six sextillion tons on his shoulders. On top of that, he's also bench pressed the weight of the earth for five days straight and only had one drop of sweat. As if that wasn't enough, he's also participated in slowing down the Spectre, who weighs the same as Eternity, and lifting the Book of Infinite Pages, which has an infinite weight. So there's really no doubt that Superman is the strongest superhero in the DC Universe. But what do y'all think? Is there anybody that I missed? Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are.